Hello, this is Mark from tradeinformed.com. Welcome to this video, a simple way to optimize a trading strategy using Excel. What I mean in this case by optimize a trading strategy is to test a variety of variables for a tra in a trading strategy to find out what would have been the most uh, profitable or effective variables to use over the historical period tested. The spreadsheet that I'm going to demonstrate how we can optimize a trading strategy is one that I produced on a previous video called How to Backtest a MACD Trading Strategy. There is a link on the screen to that video if you're interested. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer our metrics um, that we use to compare how uh, profitable, how effective a trading strategy is. I'm going to put it onto our results page, which is on a different tab in Excel. I'm going to click into our results tab. I'm just going to press equals in this cell. And press enter. And then drag this down. And so this column here that I'm, that I'm just working on is our strategy that we are going to uh, optimize and the strategy is MACD trading strategy I'm going to put in the table borders as well okay the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer over our variables so we've got a visual impression of the variables that we're going to optimize so first of all, I've got a stop loss factor here and this actually compares or refers rather to this strategy here, uh, the biome of the EMA using an ATR stop loss. I'm going to put this in a table and then I'm going to have a table below it for our MACD trading strategy. I'm going to copy the formatting and I'm going to put the variables in this table here. Okay, so the first one I'm going to put in will be our stop loss factor, same as the one above. In this case, we also have a profit target factor, and we have a allocation factor, and then our allocation percentage. So all of these variables we've already built into our trading strategy. We just need to copy them over from our data uh, sheet of the spreadsheet. So our stop loss factor, just put in equals and it's 2. Our profit target factor is 10. And when I say factor, it's actually a multiple of the average true range, which is calculated in the spreadsheet. Now our allocation percentage refers to the percentage of our capital that we're risking per trade. So this strategy that we're testing here actually increases and decreases the amount of uh, the trading size, depending on how big the account is, how big the capital is. And then our allocation factor, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, or rather I'm going to cut this from here and paste it in here. And so now if I change this factor to say 2.5, you can see that our allocation percentage below has changed. And also all the values here in our MACD trading strategy have also changed. I'm going to start off here by testing 1.25 as a factor and that gives us a allocation factor of 2.5% so the maximum we're risking per trade is 2.5% now what we need to do to optimize this trading strategy the thing I'm going to optimize for um, it's usually a good idea to optimize for a single variable at any one time and what I'm going to demonstrate here is optimizing the allocation factor which changes the percentage risk per trade. 
So I click in here to our allocation factor cell and in my version of Excel I go onto the data tab, go to what if, scenario manager. So I'm going to put in a few different scenarios here. The scenario names I'm just going to call S1 for scenario 1. Click OK and then I'm going to change that factor to 2.5. I'm going to add another, call this S2, click OK, and then the factor will be 5, S3, OK, 7.5, add S4, OK, 10. OK, so I can see the four scenarios here and each one of them looks at a different allocation factor. Now we press the summary button and it gives us an option of whether or not we want a scenario summary or a pivot table. We're just going to go for the scenario summary and then we need to tell it which results cells we want displayed in the summary. The first one of these is our allocation percentage so we know how much we are risking per trade for each scenario. The next thing we need, so we click into this cell, we press control and then we tell it to add all of these cells as well. And then we click on OK. So Excel works on this for a few seconds and then it opens up a new tab with all, all the values that we've tested for so we've got it here referring to the result cells but what I would like to do is just to make it a bit easier I'm going to copy this across so we've got an, we can easily refer back to what is changing uh, in each scenario so we can see start off in the very first scenario our original scenario we risk 2.5% of our uh, capital per trade and we can see we've got a pretty high profit factor of 1.92 we've got a pretty low drawdown of 12 but also we've got a relatively low total net profit which of course is significant as well just three thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars we can see here that the more we risk we want to risk 5% of our account, we start to increase significantly the total net profit at the expense of some of our profit factor and at the risk of a larger drawdown. And so as we go up, each scenario in this test, in fact we see our total net profit increasing in each one, we see our profit factor decreasing and our largest drawdown increasing. So these results are pretty much exactly what we would have expected here. We are the more we risk per trade, the more we're potentially gaining, and over this historical period, the more we would have gained, um, but at the risk of a greater uh, percentage drawdown. Okay, there it is, a simple way to optimize a trading strategy. If you would like more information about trading and trading strategies, please visit www.tradingformed.com.